One man in tune with technology is the world's first cyborg. Part man, part machine. Kevin Warwick, cybernetics professor at Reading University, England, took a leap into the future as long ago as 2002. For three months, a silicon chip was implanted into the nerves in his arm. At that time, no human had had an implant of this type before. It was a procedure that until then, had only been tested on chickens. Would the body reject it? Would it affect the way I moved or, or my sensory capabilities? I, I could have lost the use of my hand. Could it affect my brain? Ultimately, could have sent me crazy. Kevin was plugged into a computer which monitored the nerve signals from his brain to his arm, receiving and transmitting them as radio waves. With the signals from his brain, Kevin could not only turn on lights, he could control a wheelchair and from 5,000 kilometers away via the internet he succeeded in getting a robot hand to mimic his own hand movements. His most impressive experiment involved his wife Irena also having a chip implanted in her arm. The communication experiment between myself and Irena was vitally important to me. This was the highlight of the whole experiment. Kevin wanted to discover if it was possible for his brain to receive and feel signals from Irena's brain. When Irena first moved her hand, it actually felt like a charge running up my index finger. It was a phenomenal feeling. Literally, every time she moved, my brain received a signal. There we were communicating for the first time in the world, nervous system to nervous system. It was the first time two people had electronically communicated by thought alone. In 2006, Kevin wants to implant a chip directly into his brain. In the short term, we're going to see implants used to help people who are paralysed switch on lights, operate the TV, just by thinking about it. In 30 years, he believes we'll all have chips in our brains but ultimately having extra memory, having downloads from the computer, uploading from the brain. Earth is going to be controlled by cyborgs. Humans are going to be something of a subspecies. We'll be half man, half machine, with super memory, super senses and superpowers. I think quite clearly that's where we're going, superhuman.